9 has successfully lifted off from pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center carrying our 111 payload. Now during ascent we will tilt the engines, technically called gimbling, and that'll turn the rocket horizontally slightly in what we call a gravity turn. Nominal power and telemetry. So we're still going up, but we're also going horizontally away from the launch pad. You can see a beautiful sunset view of that ascent of Falcon Vehicle 9. supersonic. Now we, in just a couple moments, we will be throttling the engines down in preparation for max Q, or the maximum aerodynamic pressure. Max Q. We just passed through that moment. Now the first stage, or any rocket, typically needs about to go to go about 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and actually make it into orbit. So you can keep an eye on that stage one telemetry on that. Chill bottom left hand side of your screen looks like we're going about 2500 miles per hour right now and increasing rapidly in a little under a minute here we will have five events coming up in quick succession so it'll start with main engine cutoff of the first stage followed by stage separation a stage one flip as it prepares to do the boost back burn it, second engine startup one where the second stage and back engine will ignite and then the start of that first stage boost back burn beautiful views from that camera tracking the falcon 9. now we're coming up for main engine cutoff in just a few seconds and watch out for those five events Nico. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Boost back tied up. Wow, what an incredible view. There you heard and you see in these incredible views from Falcon 9 first and second stages, that main engine cutoff, stage separation, the first stage flip, second engine startup, and that boost back burn where the plumes from that first and second stage were creating that beautiful light show in the sky. Now that first stage boost back burn is in progress, but it'll end here in just under 10 seconds. Stage one boost back shutdown. That was the end of the stage one boost back burn. And here coming up shortly, we should have fairing deployment from our second stage. Fairing separation confirmed. There's fairing separation. You can see those at that attitude control Both system. Are the attitude control system on that first stage, creating those beautiful plumes in the sky on those views from your left. Now we did have a confirmation of a good fairing separation for both of our fairing halves. And this is the fifth and sixth flight of those fairing halves today. And we will be attempting to retrieve them once more when they fall back down to earth using our recovery ship, Doug. Now here at T plus four minutes and 20 seconds into today's mission, we are in the first of two planned MVAC burns ahead of satellite deployment. At T plus six minutes and four seconds, you should see the first stage's entry burn. And we're currently watching some beautiful light show performances from the first stage as it is making its way back down to Earth with those plumes coming from our attitude control system, which is nitrogen cold gas thrusters 
near the top of the first stage. Now for the entry burn coming up in about a minute, we will relight three of our nine M1D engines. So it'll start with the center engine, followed shortly by the uh, E1 and E5 engines. First stage really putting on a beautiful, incredible show there. Now we do that entry burn of the first stage to slow the vehicle down and help reduce re-entry forces to help us recover and reuse that first stage. First stage and second stage continue to look healthy. We are about 30 seconds away from the start of our entry burn on the first stage. And this will be about a 20 second burn of three of our M1D engines to slow that- Stage two following normal trajectory to slow that first stage down as it re-enters the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Hopefully we'll get some really beautiful views from the first stage there on the left. Stage one entry burn startup. There is the start of our first stage entry burn, as you can see. Now you can see that first stage flying through that entry burn plume, which deposits that soot on the first stage. Stage one entry burn shutdown. Did to get that call out for a good entry stage burn. Stage one MTS is saved. Stage two continues to be on a nominal trajectory. We are getting some spotty camera connectivity, but everything is looking good from stage two telemetry. You can see the first stage is coming down back towards landing zone one, and we will start our landing burn of that first stage in just about 10 seconds here. You can see the Cape Canaveral coast on your screen stage on the two, right. There is that start of our first stage landing burn. Stage one landing burn. Really incredible views from the first stage. Stage one landing lake deploy. from that beautiful video from stage two is a tough guidance. From the first stage, we did have a successful landing. A single Bangalore. We got a quick view from those OneWeb satellites from the second stage, really briefly there. Just waiting on confirmation of that first set of deployments. OneWeb, SAT A1 and A5, separation confirmed. Uh, we did get confirmation of a successful deployment of the OneWeb satellites there. Now again, we won't have any ground station coverage. OneWeb, SAT A4 and A8, separation confirmed. There is another couple satellites deployed. Again, we will be deploying 14 satellites in this first set of deployments. Now again, we do have ground station coverage currently for this first set of deployments, uh, but we will not have ground station coverage for the second or third set of deployments with the second set scheduled to happen about 17 minutes from now.